everybody? I'm Kelsey and I love colorful things. Welcome back to another episode of the Not So Very Challenge Blue Generation. Last time things got dramatic. A lot of you guys were living for the drama and I absolutely love it. There is definitely more tricks up my sleeve that maybe I didn't show you. But regardless, our girl has just hit rock bottom. Hopefully there is no place to go but up from here. So let's get to the episode. But before we do, if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button or or if you just haven't already, make sure to subscribe. I would love for you to join us. It's my goal to hit 1 million subscribers and every new friend counts. So thank you guys. If you already have been a subscriber for a long time, you guys mean the world to me and literally changed my life. You guys are the best. All right, let's hop in. As a bit of a refresher for both myself and for all of you guys, here's the requirements. So the traits are gloomy, perfectionist, family oriented. We have those. Her aspiration is super parent and her career is critic. We're working on that. We need to adopt at least one child. We have not adopted a child yet. Master the photography, cooking, and parenting skills. We've mastered two of those three skills. We are still working on parenting. Must marry high school sweetheart and stay with them until you die. We're currently doing that. And have the one-time secret affair, which as of last episode, check. We return back to our darling, beloved man, Vincent, and River is feeling literally terrible because she just had her one-time secret affair with Deshaun. It was crazy, okay? None of us expected it. It happened way too fast. She really just spiraled down, drank a little bit, and made some very crazy choices. So she's feeling really bad, especially hung up. She had some bad woohoo in the closet. This is why everyone hates wire hangers. Some care is needed when woohooing in the closet. So she even feels feels physically bad from that woohoo. She's gonna shower off everything. Vincent's, oh, he's grilling up some stuff. Hopefully he doesn't burn down the house. He didn't. Oh, wait, he has a pretty good cooking skill, right? Yeah, it's like decent, it's level four. Oh, yeah, grab your serving, boy. The fact that Vincent's still up when he has school tomorrow is wild. Also, he has the soulmate aspiration he wants to take her on two more dates. So he probably should have a date night with her soon. But now she's feeling a little little bit better about her woohoo. But yeah, it's not, it's not great. She's sad. She's feeling uncomfortable. Let's go downstairs and have a bit of food. But she's feeling flirty with enamored with someone nearby. Immediately upon seeing her husband, she's like, oh, he's so dreamy. Vincent just out here also feeling enamored. He wants to express his devotion and kiss her. Oh. Also the worst is like that she's never gonna tell him. That's like a requirement of this challenge. Oh my gosh, the drama. These two should go to bed instead of continuously flirting with each other. He's got work in four hours. He's got work at 8 a.m. Gotta level up his research and debate skills. He's waking up, he's feeling great. He's He's like, I am feeling energized. The environment's so beautiful. I had a really nice drink last night. Our boy Vincent's going off to work. Bye, Vincent. I like his little outfit for being a teacher. It's kind of cute. Let's uh, work from home. Actually, let's go to work today because we probably could get a promotion today. And I don't know if working from home gets you there as quickly. Oh my gosh, she's so sad. Yeah, you should be sad. You did a bad thing, girl. So yeah, she's feeling a little blue. Well, she'll hopefully get a promotion and start gaining a little bit of confidence. Hopefully she'll start making new friends. Her career performance is going up. His is he's doing well as well. They just got home. Oh, Ivy's calling. Mom, yes, we wanna chat. Vincent came home and River came home. Obviously she does make a little bit more money than he does. He's feeling great. He's climbing the ladder. He loves being close to him. He's a loyal employee. She's a special sim dim. He is feeling a little burnt out from work, but that's okay. We can have him go on a run because he loves a jog. Actually, River, you should do a jog with him. Be like, oh yeah, you know, I'm gonna come with you after I finish this call with my mom. Cause they're definitely the type of couple that like that kind of stuff. Ivy spread some juicy gossip about Dorothy. I don't know who Dorothy is, but she's running out after her husband wherever he went. We're kind of running in that direction. She's running very slowly. We're just gonna pretend they're running together. But yeah, they're both working on their fitness. 
feeling good. They both had fun. Ooh, Nicholas Walker's calling. I found a ring in Brielle's bag. I didn't know they were together. I think she's going to propose to me. What should I do? You should say yes. Oh my gosh, you're right. I think I should. What was I thinking? I can't believe this is happening. <gasps> so he and Brielle are together. Didn't we like set them up? I feel like that'd be so cute if they moved in nearby. Our girl River is looking good for her work stuff. So she doesn't really need to do much. Maybe we can continue sitting and looking at parenting things. Vincent's just sitting in the tub with his little cucumber eye mask. Love it, King. Love that for you. River sitting, enjoying, looking at her stuff. We're gonna relax and unwind on the couch with our puppo. Vincent's feeling pretty good. His burnout's gone down. Not a lot, honestly, <laughs> but let's practice our debate. Hopefully that doesn't make it go up. It is making it go up. Okay. In that case, we won't do that. Maybe we will do some watching TV. Hopefully getting his burnout down. Wife is feeling very flirty. She's just so in love with him. I feel like working on patching up the relationship doesn't need to happen because it feels like their relationship is fine. <laughs> like they're literally obsessed with each other. It's kind of annoying, but maybe she should say something nice, compliment his appearance or whatever. You know, tell him he's looking great today. Oh, he's thinking about flowers. I bet he's gonna ask her on a date soon, maybe. Give her a little kiss. Probably, oh, my dad's over. He's like, yay, my daughter's. And let's go check on our puppy here. I feel like we need to give some pets and like fill the bowl and see what's going on. So these two are having a little bit of bonding. Ask about his day. It's like 10. Can you read like the parenting book again? She's just so obsessed with like learning parenting stuff, even though they're not really able to conceive. Oh, weird. That's strange. I wonder why she's feeling nauseous today. Look at that. She's also feeling feeling a little mental fog, but she's she believes in herself. She's feeling a little sad. She's trusting the universe. I don't know why there's a baby there. That's kind of weird, but she's working on her parenting skill. It's almost a level three. Looks like we messed up the toilet here. Gotta do some dude time. Dad's in here like chatting with us while we try to fix this. <gasps> and River's eating for two. Oh no. I mean, oh yay. It's something we've been hoping for. It's just so weird that right after she had her one time secret affair, she surprised me and is pregnant. It is not something I was planning the whole time. I gotta tell Vincent the good news. Like, hey, remember that like one time a while ago that we uh, tried for a baby? It worked out. Or we're gonna have to woohoo really quick and then tell him. Be like, Vincent, don't, I'm just bloated. Don't look at the belly. Especially in the room that they're gonna make their baby's room too. He's loving it. He's like, yeah, of course. We should try again, you know? Hopefully that helps with both of their mental fogs, honestly. And now we go downstairs to, oh, our sweet girl, Blue, who looks very dirty. Blue needs a bath, I think. No playing in puddles, Blue. And drinking puddles, wow. Let's not do either of these things. Well, at least they had a good time. We're gonna give Blue a bath after that. River's falling asleep. She's like, I wanna roll in puddles, Dad. I don't want you to tell me not to drink from puddles. And he's like, and now we gotta go clean you up because you're so filthy. Yay, now he's giving some quality attention. Okay, now wet dog, wet dog. It's the lottery day. Well, we should definitely play the lottery. She's like, oh, and I should reek, but she's looking very cute with her baby bump. Oh my God, look at her little outfit. I love it, her hot weather. I forgot I put her in this, but she's feeling pretty uncomfortable. She's got morning sickness and she's thinking about her little sister. You should go kiss his wife good morning morning. Oh, nope. He's going to work. Bye, King. Slay. Sorry about everything. River's like finishing up. We should invite our little sister over. We haven't seen her in a minute or our little brother actually. Oh, alternative method. During class, Vincent can see that the students are not wrapping their heads around a tough subject, causing them to grow frustrated. The standard method for teaching this subject seems ineffective, but Vincent recalls reading about a controversial new teaching method that might do the trick. Should we try the controversial uh, teaching method? he will gain fame and be demoted or continue with the accepted method. I feel like he's the type of guy that would do the controversial method and get demoted, which he would stress him out a lot. But I feel like that would really, I think River would respect him for that. So unfortunately he is back at work and he earned $8. Everything does not seem to be going Vince's way at all lately. 
It's just been bad news after bad news. People keep saying you never know until you try, but never talk about how it feels trying something new and it not working out. Vincent can't take another disappointment. It's terrifying and too painful to try again. Oh no. And he was fired? I thought he was just demoted. Teaching method is a revelation and a popular magazine profiles him for educator of the year. The local school board is upset that he did this without approval and because he provided a commentary on how current methods are ineffective, asked him to seek employment elsewhere. Oh no, he's gonna be really nervous when he finds out. River, you gotta go cheer him up. Okay, we gotta tell him the good news. She's like, why are you home so early? Oh, he's cheered up just by her being here. But he's revealing that he got laid off of work. We'll have to console him about it. Be like, it's okay. I'm actually really proud of you for sticking to your guns. She's being such a good wife. Oh, he's so devastated. But she's like, I'm pregnant. And he's like, you're pregnant. So he's, I think he's excited, but our man's is not feeling good about being fired, but he is very happy about the big news. Oh, it's so cute. I'm sure he's gonna be like, you look amazing. He's feeling he needs to become recognized for work. Click on crafted object and slash show off work. Alternately while at work, click on your Sims portrait to change away activity. What could he craft that he'd be proud of? I guess like cooking maybe? I think he also needs to like, we could go in and start like working on nesting here, which would be kind of cute. So I'm thinking we'll do a little bassinet maybe while she was gone. The color could be any color because this is our final baby so we don't have any color requirements for the challenge a lot of you guys have been like asking for a rainbow look to the room i think that's really cute but for the walls i think it might be hard to choose a rainbow color i suppose this one kind of has like a swatch that looks a bit rainbowy wait that's so cute oh he had an apple clock oh my gosh that poor guy he loved being a teacher he got even got an apple clock oh i like the green one that's cute and they got their high school diploma oh that's so sad and he got a teacher's desk too oh my goodness this man deserves to be a teacher i'm kind of mad on his behalf i think we will just wait until he can reapply and be another teacher again i think if we just give it a little bit of time here's like a rainbow little wall piece here that one's really cute let's do that it's kind of got all the colors on there okay we're gonna go green and the pink with the, or not green we're gonna go blue yeah looking good oh there's a rainbow door well we need that door don't be crazy don't be silly we need the door the outside's white and all the other doors in the house are not white but i kind of think it's fine so i think i'm gonna leave it right here because i'm becoming indecisive but i think this is cute he's gonna purchase a lottery ticket for fun why don't we go on maybe another jog see how she's doing she's doing pretty excellent her dazed is pretty high but I kind of want her to keep going until she reaches this check mark and then I'll dial her back down a bit. And our man's is, is running. He's having a good day. She's so close to getting that promotion. Okay, perfect. She's done. All right, let's not stress her out too much more. Ooh, he's a little tired. Why don't you go take a nap on the on the couch? Having a rough go, but at least he's not stressed about work at Ebor, so that's kind of nice. Our main girl got a promotion, but she is pretty stressed about work. But she was promoted to restaurant raider. Whoop, whoop. Let's go, girl. We are over halfway through this requirement, which is awesome. Oh, we need to reach a level two of the gourmet cooking skill. She is hungry, so let's try to cook some gourmet food. I didn't realize we had to do gourmet cooking. So let's do some vegetable tempura. We'll do a little family size one so we can cook it so our husband might enjoy some of it too. She's feeling a little tired, but girl is a boss. She's pregnant and the main breadwinner at this point. And she acquired the gourmet cooking skill. Good job. Get that skill up. She's feeling very inspired by her skill right now. Good job, girl. You'd only need to cook like one more thing and you'd be there. But I think I'll wait because I don't want her to stress out too much. She's feeling, oop, yep, she's burned out. She'll recover over time, but taking breaks and relaxing will help speed up recovery. If River stays burned out for too long, her condition may get worse. Okay, that is unfortunate. Can she like relax outside? I feel like some sun chairs might be nice over here. This one's nice. It's got like a little 
something to it. Okay, maybe we'll put them over here, kind of like by the tree, these trees, kind of near the front. Then we got like a nice little area here. We could have a little side table and then we could do a little light on it. Maybe like a little lantern. And then I think we need it like paved would be kind of nice or at least just like something. There you go. Nice. It's like a little, little something going on there. Maybe she could sunbathe in her little swimwear. Oh, and mom's calling to chat. We should plan a party for the next day. We need to do a baby shower. Expecting parrot are these two. The guests will be Uncle Aspen, Aunt Bailey, Fletcher, Robin, Olivia, Nona, Bailey. I think it might just be friend or family. Dominic, Christina, ooh, Emily. Where's like my little brother? Am I just missing him? <gasps> this is Royal. Okay, we gotta give Royal a makeover because he's looking interesting, but Royal is all grown up. I totally missed him. And I think that's it. We're gonna have it at our house tomorrow. Do we need like a confetti cannon or something? We Maybe we do. Yeah, let's do a celebration cannon outside. We'll put it over here. Maybe we'll do balloons. We could do Gardaland. Put it across there. Oh, it's already looking like a party. These would be so cute to add. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Okay, yes, the backyard is decorated. Our girl's relaxing. Oh God, is she burned? Or she is that her tan? And then she's taking a nap outside. Go off, girl. I think other than a nap, you should just go upstairs and go to bed. Our guy's gonna go upstairs. He's going to to sleep. Lottery was awful. Oh shoot, I forgot to get River to get a lottery ticket, but her burnout's going down, so that's nice. Yay, her burnout's gone. Oh my gosh. Now he's cooking up something random. I don't know what it is. A pot of wild nut soup. Wow, thanks, Vincent. Something nobody asked for. I love that they always have food in the house because these two love cooking so much. It's kind of cute. Clean out some spoiled food. And then why don't you cook a gourmet meal? Maybe she wants some almond macarons. Just a little snack for herself and the baby. She hasn't heard from Deshaun, which I think she's happy about. Oh my gosh. We need to yell at this dog for drinking out of the toilet. And we're level two. Good job, River. Prepped and ready for work. Love that for you. You'll have those for later. Ah, you didn't win the lottery. I mean, we did only have one entry, but still. Uh, oh, someone else. I've never won the lottery in The Sims. One day. We really gotta like research some some stuff for babies because girl's got one cooking. She's got a bun in the oven. Speaking of which, she is in her second trimester and starts her third trimester in 14 hours. But she's enjoying reading her book. She's almost to level three, which is nice. Vincent's enjoying being online. He's sad from losing the lottery. I don't blame him, but he's feeling pretty confident regardless. Oh, River reached level three of the parenting skill. Good job, River. River can now help kids solve their basic motives like bladder hygiene and fun. She can also give parenting tips to other parents. That's nice. She's learned so much. All right, River is going to work from home today because she's got something to do. So she needs to gain a gourmet cooking skill level and watch four hours of cooking TV. Well, that's not too bad. Let's watch our cooking TV. Oh, even our husband's gonna watch it with us. What a cutie and he's flirting with us while we're next to him. Aww. I think she's like, no, I'm dedicated. That was a mis one time mistake. I would never do it again. Especially finding out she's pregnant. I think that was like the real catalyst for her being like, I gotta get my life together. But she's enjoying her watching her cooking shows today. She's got her first hour down of four. She's decided she's gonna eat her macarons while also still enjoying the TV. Baby shower is gonna start pretty soon. I think she needs to change into a new little outfit here. Just like a special little shower fit. Oh, and uh, Vincent, that's all you, buddy. You gotta go clean that toilet for us, please and thank you. Okay, let's plan her baby shower outfit. Let's look at her party wear. So this is what she's got right now. I think we're, I'm ready to move on from that. Let's get for her hair. You know, maybe, maybe pregnancy's the moment she starts to kind of let her hair down. 
I love that idea. So maybe she does something a little bit more, less pulled back. This is kind of her normal one. I think I'm gonna go with this. I think I like that one. She doesn't really have any makeup that I think is on her face. So maybe we'll add a little bit of blush and then a little lipstick. Oh, I like this one. That one's nice. And then I kind of want like a long dress. Almost something like this would be cute, but obviously something blue and not that style. This is perfect. Put her ring back on, give her some new shoes. We kind of want flats, I think, <laughs> considering she's pretty pregnant. We don't want her like running around or anything crazy. These ones are cute. I like the strappiness to them. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she looks like such a little goddess. We could also put your hair up would be kind of fun. A little updo moment. Since it's the summer, I think the claw clip is kind of a move. And then maybe we'll add some fun earrings and like a necklace and something like some little accessories. I think we're going to do these and then for her necklace. If I go with that necklace, I think I'm gonna go different earrings with it. With the little matching set kind of vibe. And then we'll do her nails. Get her nails done. Like a little French or something. I think that looks nice. Like she looks really classy. And then we'll get Vincent to probably wear his like little outfit that she's picked out for him. Or for party wear, maybe she picks out like another kind of little blue ensemble. Or he could wear pink, I guess, if she's wearing blue. They could be like baby colors. I think he wears like a pink shirt. Oh, that's kind of cute. And then we wear like some dark jeans and some, some nice shoes. Yeah, like that. Okay, looking good. Looking good, Vincent. Like it, like the fit. Okay, baby shower's about to get, let's start. Oh, look at a little Olivia. Invite Olivia to feel the baby. Be like, Olivia, do you want to feel the baby? Oh, Olivia loved that. Oh, look at all these cutie patooties. Let's share the big news with our mom. River and Aspen are close, apparently. Share the big news with everybody. Royal! Oh my god, this is Royal. He's going through a phase. He looked so different the last time we saw him. I feel like I want to give him a makeover, but I also feel like I'm in the middle of something here. So we're gonna keep going, but just know that Royal needs a bit of a makeover. Gush about new baby. I wish we could get everybody together. Let's see if I can like form a group with everyone. Okay, we have a group of most of them. I think maybe Royal. My sister didn't show up. All right, so let's see if we can have everybody kind of come sit around here. And then husband is uh, in the bathroom with his dad. Gush about baby. You have a deep conversation about fatherhood with his dad. That's so cute. Oh, look at little baby Emily. Oh, and her sister's here. Yay. Let's take some photos photos. We should take a photo with my mom. Our river, I just cannot right now. Look at these two. Oh wow. Model face. Love it, river. Why don't you guess babe your future's for rear? We need to thank some people for coming. Oh, mother-in-law. Take Taking some quality time. We should thank our little sister for coming. Oh yeah. Oh, and we need some music outside. Oh my gosh, sweet little Emily got up here finally. Oh, and we need to use the celebration cannon. That's all you, sweetie. Let's, why don't you use the celebration cannon? Vincent, get out there. You deserve it. Look at him. Oh my gosh, they all look so beautiful out here on in the blue water with the dog. All right, he's like, celebration cannon. Uh-oh, I hope it doesn't catch a fire. Oh, no, it did. It's on fire. Things are on fire. Repeat, there is a fire going on. Oh God, oh God, I knew this would happen. Look at River, she's so stressed. Oh my God, dude, 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 good. Oh, oh my God, Royal, don't get in the fire. Stop panicking, put it out, put it out, Vincent, you got this. I believe in you, Vincent. I knew this would happen. Look at River, she's like running through the house, like get me out of here, Vincent. Put it out. Good job, Vincent. And literally the firefighter arrived and was like, okay, be more careful next time. Well, River's outside in the front with everybody else. We gotta go check if she's okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, he can give a baby shower. If it ain't broke potty, he's gonna give his wife a baby shower gift. Be like, I'm sorry. And she's feeling kind of hungry. Mother to be, you should, you deserve it. Go grab some food. Oh, look at these two. They're very in love. Does she feel kind of guilty because this is not his, his child? Yes. 
I'm sure she does. But, uh, you know, they're trying to do their best. Oh, Julia Brown says, congratulations on getting the big promotion at work. Thank you. Speaking of promotions at work, I should be watching some TV, some cooking TV. Little baby Robin and big sister hanging out. Oh my gosh. And our father-in-law who's like, I think warming up to us a bit. Ask about his favorite author since you love writing. Vincent's outside feeling flirty. Oh, why is there a, who is a, who is this? Troy Trevors, a teen who is dressed as a raccoon has crashed our baby shower. You know what? Why don't you go check out the trash can? Okay. Let's, let's not do this. Let's all go inside. Okay. Do you know Troy Royal? Are you guys friends? Is that why this Troy is here? Cause not for me. I don't like it. Let's cook a gourmet meal while you're feeling inspired. We'll put, cook a boo butter nut gnocchi. That sounds actually pretty amazing. The baby shower gift from Aspen has been gifted as well. So nice. Christina wants to chat with us. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, hopefully she's not saying anything nasty. No, she's saying something nice. She was just saying hi. Okay. And our puppy is hanging out with Fletcher. Everyone's hanging out outside listening to the tunes. Mobs boogieing as usual. Ooh, and Rivers reached level nine of the charisma skill and Vincent's reached level six and we gained a reward. Such a joyful celebration before launch into parenthood. Exciting preparations can be found in your household inventory. Wait, let's see. I wanna see all the stuff that we got. Oh, we got some rattles. We actually got a baby bliss bassinet but we have a different bassinet. I'm kind of debating if we should use this one or that one. Oh wait, that one has rainbow. Okay, we gotta use that one. Of course we're using it. There's this random inspirational mouse poster. We're gonna probably sell that. Not for us, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, we have the baby toys, which we'll definitely find a good spot for. We'll put them on about here for now. And then I think in our inventory as well, we have a couple things. Yeah, we got a little potty chair for our baby so cute and we've got oh we got another little pretty prancing toy <gasps> they got another baby like toy so many baby toys we got so cute hopefully she levels up in her gourmet cooking skill before the end of the day she's a uh... yes okay we got one of our work from home assignments finished i don't know about the other one Oh, well, we're trying, at least. We only need to watch two more hours of TV. You'd think that wouldn't be that hard, but uh, it is. She can take her shower and then try to, she's so tired. I think we're just not gonna get all of it done. She tried her best. Why don't you just go to bed? But River can now take family leave. So, you know, maybe we'll just have to take family leave for a bit. They had a very somewhat successful baby shower considering that the cannon exploded and also the baby's technically not her husband's. But without those things, it went really well. I think she got along better with his family. There wasn't any fighting. Nothing quite like a baby to bring the whole family together. And River probably feeling conflicted, but maybe thinking, you know, it was a one-time mistake and I'll do my very best to be the best mother to this child. And my husband Vincent's going to be the absolute best father of this child could ever ask for. And that's how we're going to leave this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and all the drama. Next time we'll probably start kind of working on maybe River meeting some other mothers and making new friends as she has her baby. So if you guys, I know some of you guys already uploaded friends and possible co-workers to the gallery, but if you guys want to upload any like new families to the gallery specifically, so we could have some neighbors that are kind of in their same life stage, that would be kind of fun. I also feel like, you know, once she's kind of in her motherhood era, she's going to let her hair down a bit. She's going to relax. We'll definitely see the reappearance of her birthmark once her confidence gets back up. So far, I think this couple is going to weather the storm. So until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye!